Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnought. This is a game I can get behind. This game is fucking cool. Who doesn't want to build their own fucking Dreadnought? I mean, come on, that's badass as fuck, right? But what do I know? What do you know? What do any of us really know? Hmm. That is the question, isn't it? What do we truly know? Well, what I know is, I'm using German guns. Of what I think is Sablitz. But then again, what would I know? I'm just a moron. If you really want to know if it, these are the guns that are on Sablitz, you can go look at Drax's videos, because he's smart. I'm just an idiot playing a game for no one to watch. Do I keep hitting centerline guns? I think I do. I think I'm retarded. I think I need more cop. There we go. I think I need more fucking coffee. Because I'm a fucking idiot. Really? That took it over the weight limit? Seriously? Right. Aw, oh, son of a cocksucker. Sons of bitches. If that's what you're gonna blow, if that's what you're gonna do, that's what you're gonna do. In that case... not going to give me enough to build two ships, I'll just make the most powerful ship possible. Which it seems I have. Aww, sad face.
try and make sure this doesn't end up like the hood. Alright, all big gun battleship. Secondaries are for pansies. Let's try it. God, I need more coffee. Always more coffee. Oh, man. Coffee. All right. I feel like I'm slightly outnumbered. But that could just be a feeling. Hey, Caboose. Howdy, friend. How are you? Home ill because I'm too much of an asshole when I'm sick. What? What'd you do? Oh, I have a mild head cold, but it just means that I can't put up with my colleague's normal ass hatchery. So I was basically told to go home because nobody wants to put up with me when I'm this grump. That is funny. Yeah. It's hilarious. Thank God I live in a country where, you know, I'm reasonably secure in my job. Or have a job where I'm reasonably secure in it. Yeah, right? It's like how I, I work for fucking UPS, man. That union. Uh, Woohoo. I can't fucking get fired. Which also means we can't fire shitty people. It's great. Yeah, I work... It's not UPS. I work for the, uh... I work for local government, which means oh. uh, similar. Th You're one of those fuckers. Hey, I am not one of those fuckers. I am educated. I am informed. I am good at my job. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, my colleagues are not. No. Nah. So, I mean, even if I worked for a standard company, they couldn't fire me. And one of the three people in the company that actually knows how the fuck the system works. <laughs> It's me, a horrendously overpaid manager, and a horrendously overpaid contractor. Wow. Oof, get wrecked, nerds. Who am I fighting? Am I fighting the... I'm fighting the... Ru I'm fighting the Ruskies! I'm fighting the 2nd Pacific... Was it 3rd Pacific Squadron? 2nd Pacific Squadron? Hmm. Which one was it that got absolutely wrecked at Tsushima? Ooh, that's that. Apparently by a single Japanese dreadnought. Duty cast. I have uh, no idea. My uh, military history is very poor. It's naval military history. And uh, there's a guy who does videos on that. They're very entertaining. His level of sarcasm reaches mine. It's great. See, I can't really tell if you're being sarcastic there or not. That's the point. Uh, I've just run out of internet, so I'm... Um, You've run out of internet? Yeah, what? it's like, I know there's loads of stuff I could be doing, but it's just I'm bored and I can't be asked to find the stuff to do. You can watch me delete a Russian fucking battle squadron with a single dre uh, single dreadnought. I mean, that was the plan. That's what I thought. So I can then record it and put it on YouTube. So Nick has a fucking YouTuber that's not completely shit at the game to watch. So he has some idea what the fuck is going on with it. Hi, Nick. You're welcome. Oh, you recording sound as well? Yes. Oof. Just the game sound? No. It's recording you. Get wrecked. Oh. Hello, everyone. 
Well, everyone. You mean all like two of my subscribers and maybe one person who's gonna watch this video? Yeah. Self-deprecation is humiliation. It's not funny. God, if you know that I reference. I mean, if I fail. can't take the piss out of myself, then that's the entirety of my humor just gone. Uh, that was a joke about an Australian com comedian who decided to not be funny because self-deprecation is self-humiliation on this special will not be funny. God damn, dude. Just fucking sink, motherfucker. Your entire ship is on fire or flooding. It's one or the other. Just die. Also, in the engagement with this entire fleet, I've taken moderate damage to the upper deck. Behold the glory of corrupt steel. Behold the glory. Do you think they considered shooting at your ship rather than in the vague direction of your ship? Well, this is. I'm fighting a bunch of pre dreadnoughts. So, if you know anything about pre dreadnought accuracy. Uh, it's about 2% on a good day. Oh, okay, so... I'm fighting literal pre-dreadnoughts. Like, uh, the U.S. Battle of Manila Bay against the Spanish Armada that was there. <laughs> oh, Armada. yeah, 6% accuracy yeah. was a good day. It was a very good day in the U.S. Navy. They had 6% accuracy. That's amazing. That never happens. I mean, it pretty much only happened because half the fleet was sinking and the other half was still still. Boom. Alright, that's one down. One's dead in the water. Let's close some distance. Gauge that heavy cruiser. Which looks like a St. Louis. It's a lot of funnels. It is a ridiculous number of funnels. I have one funnel. But it's bigger than his. Get wrecked, nerd. It's all about the size. Yes. Also, that's a British funnel. Because this is a <laughs> British hull. Hello, CJ. Hey, how are you doing for this? You know blowing up the Russian fleet. How are you doing? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, did uh, it get updated? Uh, they did a hot fix for it. Oh, neat. Fix some issues. The next content update should be next week, which would be this week. Hopefully. How do a 12 inch shell bounce off that armor cruiser? <laughs> I, I just watched that happen. Yeah, uh. That was lucky, one lucky ship. I'm using heavy shells too. It's not like I'm using like normal British crap armor piercing shells from World War One that work half the time. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah, I've, I've done that mission uh, a few times. Uh, oh. A couple of weeks ago, I think. Oof. There you go. That, that made up for it. Eh? <laughs> Magazine um, dead. I, it's it's a lot easier with like ba a battle cruiser than uh, than trying to do it with uh, light cruisers. I've noticed. A, a battle cruiser can take care of all those transports far faster than. Oh, uh, this isn't the transport water. mission. This is a uh, dreadnought versus the fleet of pre dreadnoughts. Is this? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I thought they were the transport ships. Nope. It's a bit blurry. It's the two pre dreadnought battleships, the two heavy, the two armor cruisers, and the two protected cruisers. Oh, right. Alright, you're just annoying at this point. Hold on. You're, time for you to go away. What caliber of cannons? 12 inch. Oh, nice. 
a standard pre-dreadnought battleship caliber and a standard post dreadnought battleship caliber oh my god just hit it 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 if we sneeze on it it should die it's fine it's flooding now there, there's only two three undamaged compartments <laughs> yeah three undamaged compartments just die there we go. Look, what's not damaged is either flooding or burning. He's gonna go. Uh, the, the only the only compartments left were the steering compartments in the back. Oh yes, I remember this one. It kept crashing for me. It was crashing very reliably, actually. Huh. Yeah, around the 40 minute mark, it, uh, it uh, crashes. Oh, this will be interesting then. Yeah, I've never actually managed to complete it as a result. So you're saying it's a race against time as well? Hey, I win. <laughs> I made it past the 40-minute mark. Get wrecked. Yeah, well, maybe they fixed it. I did submit a bug report. But yeah, it was, uh, it was getting quite frustrating. Three ships out of the six down, and I've taken medium damage to my fucking superstructure and light damage to, like, a quarter of the ship. Yay, crop armor! <laughs> yeah. Hooray for the glory of crop three. And citadels. I was gonna build two ships. Oh, but, uh, are you using any uh, structural uh, improvements as well? Like the, there's one upgrade called Turtleback, which are like the old German ships, but I found that to be pretty effective. Uh, I'm using Citadel three, which I think is Turtleback. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Turtleback only works at short range, by the way. Yes, but the the, the stats, uh, I think, are slightly better than the later version uh, in, in the game. But I, I know that it's less effective, you know... It's, it's very effective at short range, where the yeah. trajectories are flat for anything that goes through the belt. But yeah. But plunging fire, it's, it's like uh, it's hitting a flat surface, and uh, that's yeah. what you don't want. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, but from a stats perspective, I think it's the most effective in the game because it doesn't have that range count thing yet, or at least as far as Turtleback, it doesn't actually change the way it models the Citadel. Yeah. It might later, though. Jesus might later, Christ, but, how is uh, this thing still alive? If you look at the numbers, uh, if you compare Turtleback to the one after it, I, uh, well, I've had more success with Turtleback at the moment. And of course it saves on weight. Jesus fucking Christ. What's not broken on this boat? <laughs> Die, cruiser! You look to be a slight bit on fire. Eh, it's fine. I don't even have a funnel there. Just some, just some long boats. It's fine. It's, it's the officer's outdoor mess. Yes. Basically. Oh, gods, we can't have that damaged. <laughs> oh, bugger! Where will we have our tying crumpets? Those blimey Russians! You bastards, how dare you! Kill it, please. I don't want to run out of ammo, please kill it. Oh yeah, you are getting low, aren't you? Oh, I meant like 200 rounds for each set of guns. Where's the ammo counter? Right here. Oh, I was looking at the other one. Uh, he's only got like 100 rounds left for his big guns. I was just looking at the wrong one. You are the, en the enemy the cruiser. I know it's safer for long distance, but you could always close in a bit further. I'm going to close the distance with those dreadnoughts. Or the, those pre-dreadnoughts, but with this fucking thing? I mean, at this point... Alright, you fucking piece of garbage, I'm ramming you. I'm fucking done with your fucking shenanigans. Done with your shenanigans. When I said get a bit closer, I didn't mean that close. Good god, just DIE! 
Fucking pre-dreadnoughts, man. You like, see the captain the on the bow. Drive me closer. I want to hit them with my sword. Well, it is a Japanese boat, so yes. Yeah. There's just the guy up there by the holding that flag. Is this, is with this a katana your... on one hand. Is this your reenactment of what the the, the Battle of Tsushima? Only instead of having a fleet of ships, it's just a single dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that is not Sinop. Uh, that is way too small to be Sinop. <laughs> Interesting, like, bridge design, though. I, I, I like the way that looks. Why does it have that flag? That's the Russian Navy, Russian flag. Navy flag. Why does it look like the Scottish flag? Because it does. What's this one? Oh, I like that, too. A lot of room for secondaries. And twin turrets. That's a shame. I've never not seen that hole come up in the. Uh, I've never in... seen it in the build. I uh, the building, either. Yeah. I'm assuming it's going to be available to us in the campaign, though. Hopefully, hopefully, because that's a pretty neat looking hole. Isn't yeah. It? Especially for a pre dread now. That's a lot of twin gun turrets. Yeah. I like that. I, I wish you'd screenshotted that that one that you had uh, the 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 orc ship. I don't know how else to describe it. The thing with the giant twin barrel turret on the on the front. <laughs> you know the one I mean. <laughs> it looks so bloody orky. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Um, oh, last time you were playing. Uh, I, I was being sarcastic. Oh right. Okay. Sorry. I don't know. What I you're don't know what you were talking about, sir. I didn't build an orc ship. I swear. <laughs> Paint it uh, red, make it go faster! Every ship you build is an orc ship. <laughs> Ooh, this has fucking wing turrets. It's got 11 inch wing turrets in the back there. Yeah, it's got a bit of an overhang on those turrets as well. <laughs> um. I bet the Citadel's been easy to penetrate. Yeah, r oh, Well, shit. the answer to that question was yes. Yes, it is. It's very easy to penetrate that, apparently. I'm gonna do to this thing what the Bismarck did to the hood. I'm gonna penetrate one of the secondary battery magazines and have it set off the main battery magazine. Because that's what they think blew up the hood. I think it was one of the four inch uh, powder magazines. Yeah, wasn't it a gap in the uh, in the deck armor that, that they didn't know about but they didn't fix in time? Well, let's just say that hood shouldn't have been going into combat. She needed, like, a six-month fucking refit. Hmm. I mean, there's also going into combat, and then going into combat with the ship that sank her, because, you know, that was a fierce invest. It was, but, uh, if you talk to any engineer, they, uh, they hate the Bismarck, because of how inefficient it is. Really? Yes. They hate the inefficiency of the Bismarck. It w uh, do elaborate. All right, it, it, it so the psychology of it as well. That, the that the guy whose video I watched on it, uh, Drac, he's a uh, he's an amateur naval historian and engineer. And when you look, at, he looks at the design of the dread of the fucking Bismarck, which is a fifty thousand ton battleship, but it's only equivalent to the thirty five thousand ton battleships of the United States or of Great Britain. So you had an extra 15,000 tons to work with and you couldn't make it better? Ah, oh, That was the range though, wasn't it? That's what that extra tonnage was for, more range, right? No, the 15,000 no. tons wouldn't add to the range. It was just, it, it was a very inefficient design. Which yeah. sounds very un-German. It does, but I think the German efficient-like thing is a post-war thing. Because World War II Germany was a cred remarkably inefficient in the way yeah, that was. Hitler set up all the different industries so that they would compete and overlap with each other, which basically meant everybody was checking what everybody else did and wasting a lot of effort. Yeah. I must say, the Bismarck being inefficient is never something I've heard levied against it. I've always heard it was a poor use of resources because of the sheer number of conventional weapons they could have built instead of building a single battleship which is essentially just a fuck you Britain. 
Well, if it did, you know, it's, it's, it's efficiency depends on what it could sink. If it could sink enough to, to make a difference, then yeah. Which was the big thing with the with those um, pocket battleships they were, and the, the raider type vessels that uh, they were worried about. Is it also had a big psychological impact as well? Those raiders, Rons, though, the but... Panzer Chiefs, they showed what, what they could do at the Battle of the River Plate, where they, by single Panzer Chief, fought a squadron of British cruisers, and. Uh, only through deception did they lose. Yeah. What I've heard is that with the resources that got put into the Bismarck, they could have put out far more Tiger Twos or far more fighters, and they could have enjoyed air superiority or tank superiority for uh, longer. I'm not sure it quite works, so particularly with the aircraft, because, again, it's all manufacturing, and you've got to have the right manufacturing. Well, yeah. So alum aluminium and steel, different things. Yeah, maybe more tanks and more shore batteries or whatever, but... You know that's got to translate into into factories that can use that steel, and if you don't got any more factories to make tanks, and you've got you've got all this extra steel, it's still not going to matter. The fuel would probably be more of a thing, so that would that. Yeah, that probably would have been more of a thing actually, because that's why the Italian navy never really got much of a seeing. Well, um, that and the their Italian... horrible fucking production of uh, naval artillery shells. Well, yeah, that too. Their, uh, the, the shells had a 1% variation in weight as uh, justified was their quality control. And a 1% difference in shell weight can mean the difference between a hit or a 2 kilometer miss. That's uh, quite the miss. Yeah. So... The, the, the Italian Navy would have done better if their shells went where they were aiming. Because the Italian guns were good. It's their shells that were crap. And the Bismarck had the same uh, had a problem with their shells, too. Half of them didn't fucking explode like they were supposed to. Um, can you turrets actually keep up? I'm not seeing them firing as often. Yeah, they're out of ammo. Oh, shit. Mm. I have 146 rounds for the fucking wing turrets left, and that's what I'm using to engage this thing. It's almost dead, though. There's one undamaged compartment. And uh, it's not doing a whole lot against me even at point blank range with its 10 inch guns. Which are almost out of ammo too. I see you didn't pepper it with the uh, secondaries. Or... I didn't put secondaries on the ship. Yeah? I used all of the weight for guns and armor. Nice. And that seems to have been the correct move. Because, uh, I'm about to win. Uh, maybe. You've only got 45 seconds left. Fuck, really? Yeah. God damn son of a bitch. I swear to God, if I don't win, I'm going to be annoyed. Speak. God damn it, so close! No. Fucking bullshit! Fuckers.